Dear students, welcome to Kalarava Tutorials. Even the video dali, we have now we can note that we English medium na Ganita Prashna Padrikege Uttragalana Bras Tadivi. So we have to see how to solve the uh, questions in uh, mathematics of A standard. Today we have going to attend the mathematics exam. Uh, come now how to solve these uh, questions in this one. So dear students. So here is uh, there are uh, 20 questions are uh, uh, objective type MCQ questions are there. So for first question is there you observe here which among the following numbers uh, have 5 in unit place. That means the number which is having the 5 in its unit place is. So you observe here 5 cube. 5 cube means uh, it gives you 125. The answer of the 5 cube is 125 and 2 cube is of 8 and c is 3 cube is of 27 and 4 cube is of 64 so therefore in the unit place the 5 is in the option a 5 cube has the 5 5 in its unit place the cube root of 216 is so you have to divide this 216 uh, by 6 it is divided by 6 6 3 is 18 6 6 36 and then it is 6 6 36 6 1 uh, 6 so that is 216 is equal to 6 cube that is the 6 cube therefore answer option c is the correct answer 6 if a is a non-zero integer m and n are any integers then a to the power of m into a to the power of n is equal to so you observe your law of indices shows that a to the power of m into a to the power of n when the bases are same we have to add this uh, uh, indices that is the powers that is a to the power of m plus n is the correct answer so therefore option b a to the power of e a to the power of m plus n is the correct answer so then we move on to the next question the fourth question here shows uh, uh, the shape uh, the shape of the solid in given figure is here the given the shape this shape is the cylindrical shape so therefore option b is the correct answer cylinder <laughs> cylinder is the correct answer the formula to find the curved surface area of the cone so you know, this is the cone shape so we have to find out the curved surface area this surface area the curve for finding the curved surface area the formula is option a that is pi r l is the curved surface area the least number to be multiplied to 108 to make a perfect 108 at 180 so here we have to divide this one to 5 is a 10 to 4 is a 8 then we have to divide this one to 2 is a 4 to 7 is a 14 then we have to divide this one 3 9 is a 27 and 3 3 is a and then 3 1 is a 3. So this gives you 2 into 2 only 2 times for getting any cube number the number same number can be repeated, repeated 3 times here 2, uh, 2 comes only 2 times uh, there is one shortage of 2. So therefore, for getting 108 as the perfect cube, we have to multiply 108 by 2. That is option D. We have uh, 2 as the number. Then we have to move on to the next one. Seventh question. If uh, total surface uh, area of a cube is uh, 600 cm square, then the side of the cube is... <laughs> Here the given that is uh, sur total surface area of the cube. This is the cube. Here all sides are equal. So therefore all sides are A into A into A into A. So the side one side area is A square. It has a totally six sides area. Six sides. Therefore the total surface area is 6 A square. So that 6 A square is equal to the given that 600 centimeter square. We have to find out the value of A. So here you have to divide this one 6 1s are 6 hundreds are. that gives you a square is equal to 100 you have to write this 100 as 10 square 10 into 10 10 square by taking square root on both sides 
the square and root gets cancelled that is a is equal to 10 is the correct answer that is option d that is 10 centimeter then the perfect cube of 64 lies between cubes of these numbers here you know 64 you have to find out the cube root of 64 this is divided by 4 1s are 4 6 are then 4 4s are then it divides by 4 1s that means 64 is equal to 4 cube this is the cube root of this one of 64 that is cube root of 4 is lies in between 3 and 5 only therefore option b 3 and 5 is the correct answer so then we move on to the next question that is uh, the central angle of the sector representing one fourth region in a pie chart that means uh, for finding the pie chart we have to draw the circle this circle has uh, totally angle is 360 degree for finding the one fourth of the angle so we have to divide multiply one fourth to the 360 degree that means four ones are four nines are 36 that is 90 degree so the option is uh, b is the answer 90 degree and then the diameter d of a cylinder is equal to the height h of the cylinder so here they given that in this cylinder so this is the diameter d and this is the height h here they given that diameter d is equal to the height of the cylinder so that is diameter is equal to height diameter means two times of the radius is equal to height h so therefore the curved surface area becomes the curved surface area of the cylinder here the curved surface area of the cylinder is equal to 2 pi r square 2 pi r h this is the curved surface area so now we have to substitute this value of h uh, as 2 r that gives you 2 pi into r into h means 2 r now we have to multiply this to 2 twos of 4 pi pi is pi r into r r square that gives you 4 pi r square therefore option a 4 pi r square is the correct answer now we have to move on to the next question that is the 11th question thirty two can be expressed with base two as here they have to ask express thirty two as the base two so for expressing in base two we have to divide thirty two by two two ones are two six are and then two eights are and then two fours are and then two twos are this becomes two ones are that means here you observe five two comes five times that is 32 is equal to 2 to the power of 5 so this is the correct answer that is option c 2 to the power of 5 is the correct answer then the general formula of general form of we have to simplify this one that is 1 is in the thousand place 4 is in hundred place 2 is in 10 plus 5 is in unit place and 3 is in tenth place 6 is in hundredth place so now we have to write this simple form that is in thousand place is 1, 4 is in hundred place, 2 is in tenth place, 5 is in unit place and then the decimal starts. Then this is the tenth place and this is the hundredth place. That is 1425.36 is the correct answer. That is option D. 1425.36 is the correct answer then we have move on to the next question so 13th question three cubes each side edges three centimeter are placed one adjacent to the other to form a cuboid then the length breadth and height of the resulting cuboid is respectively so you observe there are three cubes are placed one by one so this is uh, one cube and we have to place another cube 
by side of this one by jointing the two cubes and then we also place another cube side of this one so here there are three cubes are placed all the sides are equal here so this one has 3 cm this one has 3 cm so next 3 cm the total length of the cuboid is it becomes 9 cm and breadth here is the breadth that is also equal to 3 cm and the height of the cuboid h is equal to 3 only therefore the length is 9 breadth is 3 and height is 3 therefore the option is 9 3 3 cm option c is the correct answer the length is of 9 cm breadth is of 3 cm and height is also 3 cm if there are no gaps between consecutive rectangular bars in the graph this type of graph is uh, called so that means uh, uh, you observe the graph uh, without gap so there is uh, no gap between the uh, either, uh, either bar graphs so this bar graph is called you observe here there is no gap in this one so without gap if you construct this bar graph this is called the histogram so therefore option c is the correct answer so histogram is the correct answer so here we observe what are the other diagrams here bar chart bar chart means there is a gap between for all the bars so this type this is and a double bar chart means there are two double double bar charts are at a time is here so this type of uh, bar chart is the double bar chart so if in the exam they ask anyone diagram you have to identify this one and the pie chart is like this one so this is the pie chart so these are the four diagrams so then we move on to the next question 15th one multiple inverse of uh, 2 to the power of minus 4 here we have to write this multiple inverse uh, like this uh, 2 to the power of minus 4 can be written as 1 divided by 2 to the power of 4 the multiplicative inverse means uh, if you write any fraction that is if it is uh, 3 by 2 the multiplicative inverse of this one is uh, 2 by 3 so we have to interchange the numerator and denominator here also we have to interchange the numerator and denominator this multiplicative inverse is equal to 2 to the power of 4 divided by 1 that means if you neglect this 1 that gives you 2 to the power of 4 so option d is the correct answer 2 to the power of 4 so expanded form of the x minus 5 whole square is so here we have this is the formula like a minus b whole square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square now we have to expand like this x minus 5 whole square is equal to this becomes x square minus 2 into a means x b is of 5 and plus b is of 5 square you observe here x square we have to multiply all these three 5 into 2 into x that gives you minus 10x plus 25 so this is the expansion forum option c is the correct answer then we move on to the next question 17th one so 5 to the power of m divided by 5 to the power of 3 is equal to 5 to the power of 5 we have to simplify for m here you observe 5 to the power of m divided by 5 cube is equal to 5 to the power of 5 so now we have to use this law of indices this becomes 5 to the power of m minus 3 so the lhs becomes this one that is equal to 5 to the power of 5 here when the bases are same we have to equate the powers so that means m minus 3 is equal to 5 here both are equal that means m minus 3 is equal to 5 you have to transfer minus 3 to the right hand side that gives you plus 3 so that is m is equal to 5 plus 3 that is 8 8 is the correct answer 
option d is the correct answer for this one a survey was conducted on type of uh, music liked by a group of people showed in the pie chart which type of, which type of music that people like the most here you observe the uh, biggest area is uh, in this one so that is the uh, light music is the biggest one so therefore we uh, write the answer option a light music is the correct answer so this music was uh, liked by so many people so then we move on to the next question 19th so here the value of uh, uh, 2 by 3 to the power of minus 2 so we can't find the value of when the power is in the negative form so we have to convert this into positive form by converting this to negative form into positive form we have to interchange the numerator and denominator that means we write 3 by 2 to the power of this becomes positive 1. Now we have to simplify this one. We have to apply the powers to the both numerator and denominator. That means 3 square divided by 2 square. 3 square is 9. 3 into 3. 2 square is 2 into 2. 4. This is the correct answer. Option B is the correct answer. That is 9 divided by 4. Then 20 cylindrical shape tank of the radius 2 meter and height 7 meter the total cost of painting the curved surface area of the tank at the rate of rupees 10 per meter square is here the radius of the cylinder is equal to r is equal to 2 meter and height is equal to 7 meter so we have to for painting the curved surface area the curved surface area of the cylindrical shape is equal to the curved surface area is 2 pi r h so therefore 2 into pi means 22 by 7 into r is 2 and into h is of 7 now we have to cancel this 7 and 7 by multiplying these three 2 into 2 4 4 into 22 uh, that gives you 88 meter square here for 1 meter square it is rupees 10 we have to multiply that one by 10 that is equal to 880 rupees is the total cost therefore option b is the correct answer rupees 880 so these are the multiple choice question we have to answer here so today we have you are going to attend the mathematics exam so by using these uh, uh, solving methods uh, you have to solve the questions given in the exams and also from 21 to 28 there is no time to solve uh, solve me uh, solve the questions for me so you have to observe the uh, you have to watch the Canada medium video I already uploaded uh, yesterday night in that one we have to uh, get the answers how to solve the questions from 21 to 28 uh, okay for uh, next updates uh, for science and uh, social question papers you have to subscribe our channels and uh, on the notification symbol then you get the uh, notifications when we uh, when the videos are uploaded automatically so thank you thank you very much so i have to end this video